This next hive I call my gateway hive. It's a single deep and I had resources from another hive down the row that was all mediums. And so it has a deep and a medium. I didn't have enough materials during the summer to build a two deep hive. So I'm gonna try and overwinter this this way. Now it has uh, an additional feeder box on the top here. Um, I am feeding it. This was a small hive, it was a late swarm, and I'm gonna to look to see if I can get it through and we'll see what happens. So let's uh, check and see where it's at. A lot of activity for this hive. Really flying hard today and I see a lot of pollen going in. So. Should have prepped better, I don't have a hive tool. There it is. So you'll note on this one that I have insulation on them. This is something I started doing last year. I have a two inch foam block of insulation that I keep on top of the hive. Even in the summertime, I've been keeping them there. Now, these hive top feeders from Man Lake are great. However, I found over the last couple seasons that the bees are somehow finding a way out. So in the winter time, when I'm done feeding and I bring these in, I'm gonna do something to caulk all the edges so that the bees can't sneak through the gaps because I don't like opening the feeder, which should have no bees in it, and find both dead bees and live bees. So. That's a to-do item to do. To do, to do. A little bit of smoke. I lifted the box just a bit, just so they know I'm coming. I'm slow to lift it off. I'm just gonna set the feeder over here, off to the side. I see an empty frame in 10, nine, Bees in eight, seven, six, five, four. Empty frame. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, nine frames in this one. <laughs> That's interesting. So nine and eight are empty. Seven has some, six has a lot. Five, four has a lot. Three, kinda, two, nothing, one is empty. So since these are empty, I'm gonna go down this end and take a look at what I have going on. Now the one thing I know already is they're really propolized between the frames. Empty, nothing doing. I could set that one right here. This box has the frame rest with the studs that stick up that keep the frames in place. You can't move them around. That's why it's a nine frame. All right, so going to three. It's just drawn comb, nothing much to see there. Going to four. Honey all the way through, capped both sides. Next one's the same. Next one's the same. So, you know, I know what this is. This is honey storage up here. If you hear some rustling, you can say hi to Sharon. She's over here taking some photographs. Hello. Hello, my dear. I'm gonna go look and see what's going on in the bottom box.
my first impression is there's lots of bees. There's bees covering all the top bar and there's bees in all the seams. That's good. That's what I want to see. Just got to get a little smoke to push them all down. This one's got 10, 10 frames, which in its own right is a little weird for, for a hive because the frames don't line up. The top of the top bars here sit under the bars, the slots in the other one, if you know what I mean. This is a food frame. It's got pollen and some nectar, not the prettiest frame. Just going to set it aside and go a little deeper. What I'm looking for here is brood in all stages. I have a great pattern here. I do have some drone brood in worker cells through the middle of it. So that's a watch. But I have good drone brood or worker here, drone brood over here. All worker here, some drone brood on the outside. And what I see is this frame is an ugly mix. It has both drone and worker comb. I think I put it in backwards. I have some bees here on the end where I want to put my fingers. So I'm just giving a quick puff on that area to clean it out. So when I reach down there and pinch, I don't get stung. Full, full frame of brood, capped. Looks great. Looking for my queen real quick. Don't see her on this face. But when I see this, am I really needing to see a queen? I really don't. I know she's going to town in here. And unless something happened to her, just recently, I have very little concern. This is a foundationless frame. You can see it's uh, Kelly F frame is the name of the frame, which they don't make anymore, and that's a shame. Sound like Dr. Seuss there, rhyming. Let's see what we got here. So there's brood on this frame. I see eggs, larvae, typical. And this tells me that the queen is even more viable because I have fresh eggs and larvae, which is all I really needed to see. I'm just going to do a quick check to see whether I have a queen on this frame. And this is probably the one I'm going to sample for mites. I see no queen. I'm going to set this one aside and do a sample from it and go just a little deeper in the hive so I know what's going on. But this is the one I'm probably going to check. So I'm going to put it over here on my bench. You have a question, Sharon? <laughs> you can ask, go ahead. Is the setting correct? Yeah, that's fine. Full of brood. So the good news for me when I look at this hive is I know that it's gonna have a decent population very soon. And there's my queen. Let me show you to her. Show her to you. Where did she go? Let's see if we can find her. She is right here. 
Hopefully you're seeing her. So now even more so, I know that I could take my sample and not worry about getting my queen. But the queen is on this frame. And I'm gonna put it right back here for safekeeping. I'm gonna take a break and take a sample and see where my mite loads are for this hive. And I want to note one other thing. I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm gonna walk this camera over here. Now you can see Sharon, say hi. Oops. The one thing I wanted to note, let me walk over here. Look at all the bees flying. I disturbed the bees. And they're orienting. You can see them flying around where Sharon is behind her. While we open this hive, a lot of the bees are at that time period where they're going to come out in the afternoon and orient to the sun. So if you come out some afternoon and you see all these bees flying around, even though I disturb them, you could see that they're orienting. And if I put the hive all back together, they'll all go down inside. Nothing to be concerned about. All right, let me go ahead and do that mic check.